memoir. She writes about her marriage, the conservatorship, the Free Britney movement, and then the book is out this morning. Chris Connolly has the details. Good morning, Chris. And good morning, George. It's been making news for days, and now it's here. Like pop music at its best, Britney Spears' songs and performances gave expression and validation to the emotions of her fans. Now in her new memoir, she's getting to express the feelings and emotions she's experienced and often had to conceal throughout her turbulent life, telling her story her way. For my boys, who are the loves of my life, this book has been a labor of love and all the emotions that come with it. Overnight, Britney Spears, in her own voice, speaking words that introduced her long-awaited memoir, The Woman in Me. Reliving everything that you're about to hear has been exciting, heart-wrenching, and emotional, to say the least. Packed with personal details, the 41-year-old pop star's book now on sale. Its downloaded audio version also available. Notwithstanding Britney's intro, the rest of the book read by Oscar-nominated actress Michelle Williams. I became incredibly angry. I think a lot of other women understand this. That's my Looking back to when her marriage to Kevin Federline ended and she was denied access to her sons, Britney detailing for the first time the agonizing emotional stresses that would send her spiraling Britney. as the world looked on in 2007 and 8. I am willing to admit that in the throes of severe postpartum depression, abandonment by my husband, the torture of being separated from my two babies, the death of my adored Aunt Sandra, and the constant drumbeat of pressure from paparazzi, I'd begun to think in some ways like a child. Of the restrictive conservatorship she was then placed under, and later attempts to put her into a rehab facility. My father said that if I didn't go, then I'd have to go to court and I'd be embarrassed. I felt like it was a form of blackmail and I was being gaslit. I honestly felt they were trying to kill me. Brittany said it had put her under her father's control. The conservatorship was created supposedly because I was incapable of doing anything at all. So why was it that a few weeks later, they sent me on a grueling world tour? I began to think that he saw me as put on earth for no other reason than to help their cash flow. He said, I call the shots. I'm Britney Spears now. But then and now, there's only been one Britney Spears in spilling the tea mode, revealing that she started taking the antidepressant Prozac in 2000 to deal with the impact of public scrutiny on her eager to please self. The national spotlight turned my natural tendency to worry into something unbearable. We were like magnets. Brittany writes of ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake, their romance blooming from 1999 to 2002. I was head over heels in love with him. So in love with him, it was pathetic. Timberlake's breaking up with her via text, she says. Devastated. I mean, I could barely speak for months. When she retreated back to her family's home in Louisiana, she says Justin visited her there. He brought me a long letter he'd written and framed. I still have it under my bed. And at the end, it said, makes me want to cry to think about it. I can't breathe without you. Those are the last words in it. After their breakup. Justin framed our time together with me as the bad guy, and I believed it. So ever since then, I felt like I'm under a sort of curse. Would you hold it against me? Neither her family nor others mentioned in her book responded to requests from ABC News for comment. Britney's recollections from her 13 years in the conservatorship paint a harrowing picture. And she credits the Free Britney movement for her liberation. If you stood up for me when I couldn't stand up for myself, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Let the discourse begin, guys. <laughs> it has. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Coming up next, show me the money. This time, Gio went to San Francisco to strike gold. He's back with that. Hey there, Gio.